Hello, the Wandering Lawtons here. In this video, you will be seeing pictures and videos of our time at our first house sit in Ticehurst, England. Come meet Tazzy and Birdie the cat as you join us on walks around town, local parks, and playtime. The home is beautiful and unique, and we will have a small tour. Then listen to the share and tell from our kids and teachings of the week. Our car did not arrive in time to drive anywhere, but the host of the home took us out that evening to William Castle, which was very kind. We loved being here, and it was more than we could have asked for as our first house sit. Remember to stay after for the sneak peek of what's coming. And thank you again for watching our videos. I hope you have a great day. Now let's get to it. This beautiful path we've been on for a few minutes going up and down the hills of the area here in Ticers. We've been playing magical games with wands and we've been playing Pikmin and just imagination games and um, taking Cassie for a walk. So it's been a beautiful day today. Here's our first geocache. <laughs> what is it? Doesn't look like it's in too good condition. Well, I guess it's supposed to get to be out here. So. Very long time. There's a slug up it. Yep. No water got in there. Oops. Oops. Oh, it's like What the? What's that all about? <laughs> Just, what is that? That's supposed to be the log. The log? Yeah, you're supposed to have a little scroll of paper in there so you can write down your name and when you found it and where you're from. This one's seen better days. <laughs> well, we are from the United States, wherever we wander to, and we are in Ticers now, UK. Ciao! <laughs> That is fun to swing on. <laughs> Go swing on. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> oh wow. So cool.
our shoes. We are doing laundry. So grateful that we have a place we can do laundry after the boat. This is the bathroom. It's so beautiful out here in the backyard. The kitty cat comes out a window up there. Some people stay outside or hide under the bed. But yeah, the kids have just really been enjoying running around out here. There's a full lawn there, there's a trampoline and garden in the back, and a swing set. Okay. Oh look, we could go in this side. So we've been doing schoolwork. TV room, hello! School time, hi! This is the TV room. Oh yeah, Adelaide did. Has put together some bouquet of flowers. Tazzy was running around outside with me. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> it's actually another room over here, kind of like a library sitting room. Right down, down the big wood doors. Yeah, I can find that for you. Look how the wood is just made. That is their bedroom up the stairs, and Peter is staying in here. We have the bathroom here, and the cat stays in there. Nice shower. Here's the family bathroom. Stairs that go up, we'll do that in a little bit. His studio. And then we are staying in this room. Stairs. 
we're at with this day. All the doors are really short. yard. We take walks into the village over there. Here's a small hallway to where Adelaide is staying. This is where Adelaide slept and she said she just loved this room up here in the attic to add all the shelves as she put all her Legos and jewelry and toys. And then she had a bathroom she could come out to right here and she thought it was just cute and little. Everything was small for her. I didn't know how to close that door there. It kind of swivels open. There's this cute little sink she liked and a pink towel. She thought that was great. Because her favorite is pink. So she just had a lovely time up here. Adelaide made her bed and folded her clothes. So a sweet girl. And we have a skylight that goes out into the backyard. It's just so beautiful. is based, only based, on a true story. Parts. My sister saw a kitty cat, she followed here and there, near and far and everywhere, until she threw her out the window, the window, a second story window, the window, the window, a second story window. Make it a rhyme and sing it a time, and throw it out the window, the window, a second story window. Door. No cats were injured in this filming. This is dog treat test level three. Let's see if she can handle it. She, she has like, to finally. She has to slide them out so they can go into these holes so she can keep them. Wow. This will be a tough one. She's checking all the things. No problem yet. Sliding them out. All around this way and that way. The treats are in this one, this one, and this one. Oh! Did she get one? No. Yeah. But this one's really close. Oh, she got some of it. There's still a bit more in it. She's just moving. I can't see. Doggy. The two biggest ones are in the center. Figure out how to get them out. She knows there's treats in it. How will she figure out how to get it out? She's working on it. She's a very smart dog. She's licking the crumbs. Oh, she got some more. Mmm, delicious. She got one of the big ones out. But this one's the biggest and the best. Oh, she's licking throughout. Oh, she's sticking her tongue in. She lifts the entire thing out, and she gets to treat the most unexpected way. <laughs> okay. She's like, this is no way. I'm going to the hard way. <laughs> she wants to get that last treat. Will she get it? Will she break it out or slide it? Oh, she breaks it out. Oh, yummy, yummy. Do my tummy. <laughs> Anything else? That looks like it's it. She's just sniffing up the, and looking at the last pieces. She's wondering if there's more. Say you could share. Oh, but I. <laughs>
I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying I did I give you permission. Did you grab my own? Well, are we equal now? Oh, I think. Here we go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> now you're in better position. Where's my soup? These are some dumplings that we made on Dumpling Day. We made it up. We're having Dumpling Day where we make some broth soup and then we each get our own bowl and we get flour and water and then we mix in different spices and lemon sauce and stuff like that. And we couldn't tell very much the differences between the dumplings, but it was fun making them. At our first house sit, the kids wanted to learn budgeting and meal planning. So we made a budget of $12 and we wanted some extra chips, so we ended up getting $13. And then we made meals off of that for the week. We also had a comparison to the grocery store where we went and picked up $13 worth of prepared food that we had one meal out of. The kids were so excited to see how far their food could go and they made uh, lots of yummy soups, dumplings, crepes, um, the, all the simple basic foods that you needed were also the, some of the cheapest ways to go. really fun to make this delicious meal with daddy well um mommy and peter was like doing their work this looks lovely guys thank you you sound great hello <laughs> what a beautiful day He hasn't looked yet. Three, two, one. Oh, it's a kid crab that day. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look, it's an alligator. No, those are fish. Did you know the story of Rapunzel? Whoa, yeah. look at that one. Imagine being at the top of that tower and having to let your hair down. <laughs> oh yeah, there's some big fish in here too. A big guy. Could your hair make a bridge, Adelaide? And there used to be a drawbridge, that but that's gone now. That's a big moat. Yes. How do we even get across that People thing? People were not they were not supposed to get across it. That is the secret. And that's why no one ever attacked <laughs> it. Oh yeah. I mean, every, virtually every weekend there was something going on here. During the summer. They have arts and shows. They have plays in the castle. Oh, that's great. They got across the drawbridge. They dropped the gate behind them, and they dropped the gate in front of them, and then they could pulverize them in the middle. Yeah. And that's why no one dared come. <laughs> yeah. Me? My big belly? My big belly? Yeah. I know, my big belly. Well, it's not too big. Oh, look, it's a little 
It's a bit injured right here. <gasps> there he is. <laughs> that looks like the magical fish. <laughs> to London Bridge. Hello everyone. We are venturing off to our second sit now. So the trains are right up there. Alright kids, we have just made it to King's Cross Station. Where do you think we're heading to? Hogwarts! Hogwarts. Okay, can you find platform nine and three quarters? Look around. Like there is more building stuff, but hmm, maybe this one. I know, but I don't know either. I think this one because oh, look at that cute little baby. Love it. Can you still like this one? Yeah. Then we're in real Hogwarts. Here, let's pretend we're in real Hogwarts. And we're checking out Walmart. Can you still say how old is like my box? He who must not be named Walmart. Wait, what? He who must but not be named, they have his wand. Who's that? 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 Who's that?
Oh, this is the unicorns. So, <laughs> you Peter, use your unicorn but, thing. So, Peter, the yeah, can look at the fedoras. I like how Nifedora talks, changes hair color, and she's got a fun. Fred Weasley, George Weasley. Imagine they actually got those switched in. <laughs> like the only way you can tell them apart is their wands. Mm -hmm. they I always assume that they would have matching wands. Hang on. No, because they need to have different wands. Hmm. Why that one? That's the most obvious wand in the world. <laughs> Doesn't the wand choose the wizard? Uh, yeah. We're just looking at them. Let's take How come they have one, two, three of them as possible? They just use a normal duplicating spell on them. Use the really powerful duplicating spell. Sadly, which one would you choose? Um, I don't know. One of them just plays dual one. How come you just said the wand choose like a wizard? A pretty jewel if one. I show. I show. Um, You know, twinkle, twinkle. Your turn, Peter. Let's hear. Remember the seagull? Yeah, I that. Let's hear the seagull. <laughs> well done, Peter.
us mine to do now. That means I'm ready now. Put it here, please. Lovely flowers. <laughs> what is this heathen doing? Where's my dinner? Hello, small heathen. Oh, well, thank you. That was a tad chilly. <laughs> How rude. That is so kind of you all. Mm, this does not excuse the tardiness of the soup, but I will allow it. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, there's a light there. Closer now. A little closer. Oh, too close. I do say. Hmm. Yes. You shall deliver this treatment to me every meal time, followed by a bowl of chilled soup, please. Is my soup all not ready? Oh. Are you mocking my ears? Your ears hang low, do they wobble to and fro? Can you tie them in a knot? No, don't try it. No, they don't make a bow either. Well, yes, that is. That could be in your soup soon. <laughs> Luckily, I don't mind. I have this reflex that just allows me to cough them up. Oh, uh, yes, I had left one for you in your shoe earlier. Did you find it? <laughs> well, you'll find it soon enough. You call them socks. <laughs> this is so cool. This is the coolest ever. kids bedroom with the flowers and the bed and this cute chair matches the one downstairs and then this possibly um, is Mount Mount's room a light in her room but now she's sleeping in this way and yeah that's it wait no over here Bathroom right next to the stairs. 
And over here is 